In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria round amounts of money to the nearest pound or 10 pence. You can locate the questions on the MassMath.com website under Entry 3. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first one. Alex will go to college by bus. The bus ticket is £8.55 pence per week. Round eight pounds fifty-five pence to the nearest pound. Since fifty-five, we're going to round to the nearest pound. So this will be the cut-off point. So looking on the right, we've got fifty-five pence. Fifty pence and above means we round up. So we go to nine pounds. Anything below fifty pence, like forty-nine pence, forty-eight zero pence that means rounding down so we would go to eight pounds so in this case we rounding this to nine pounds we now move into calculated questions mina buys a bag of sweets how much does the bag weigh to the nearest labeled division so that's 140 grams. Her sweets cost £2.89. pence. What is £2.89 pence rounded to the nearest 10p? So £2.89. Pence. That's the pounds. That's the 10p coins. That's the pence coins to the nearest 10p. So that's the one we are rounding. We can round it to £2.80 or £2.90. To decide, we're going to look on the right of that number. And then we have 9. So if it's 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we're going to round up, meaning this will go up by 1. So 2.9 as its money, this will be £2.90. Claire buys some euros. She pays £145.59. Pence. Claire buys some euros. She pays £145.59. Pence. Round £145.59 pence to the nearest pound. So one hundred and forty five pounds fifty nine pence. The pounds column is this one. So that's what we're going to round. So this will be the cutoff point. To decide, we're going to look on the right. We've got fifty nine pence. Again, fifty pence and above means rounding up. So we're going to add one to the five. Keep the digits in front unchanged. So 146 pounds is the answer. Claire earns 9 pounds 72 pence per hour. Round 9 pounds 72 pence to the nearest 1 pound. So 9 pounds 72 pence. Pounds, that's the digit that represents the pounds. So this will be the cutoff point. To decide whether we keep this as £9 or round it up to £10, we look on the right, we've got 72 pence. Again, 50 pence and above will mean rounding up. So this is over that. So we're going to round this to £10. If we had 49 pence, 30 pence, so £9.20, £9.10 pence, anything like that then we'd round down to nine pounds carly buys a drink from the shop the drink costs one pounds 69 pence round one pounds 69 pence to the nearest 10p so that's the pounds and that's the pence so this will be the 10p coins 69 so 60 pence and this is the pennies 
we're going to round to the nearest 10p so this will be the cutoff point so we'll either go with one pound 60 or one pound 70. looking on the right that's a nine so we're going to round this to one pound 70. so this is closer to one pound 70 than it is to one pound 60. What is 957 pounds and 29 pence rounded to the nearest pound? So that's the pounds column. So this will be the cutoff point. Looking on the right, we've got 29 pence. So we're going to round down and we're going to keep this as 957 pounds. What is 108 pounds 47 pence rounded to the nearest pound? Again, that's the pounds column. So this will be the cutoff point. Looking on the right, we've got 47 pence, so less than 50. That's why we're going to keep this as 108 pounds. The dance school holds a dance display every year. Last year they made £660 from the ticket sales. This year they sold 97 tickets at £6.95 each. The organiser thinks they made more money this year than they did last year from the ticket sales. Is the organiser correct? Give a reason for your answer. Use numbers to help you. Show your working. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the two. So 97 times six pounds 95 gives us 674 pounds 15 pence and that in comparison to 660 is higher is the organizer correct we're going to say yes because they think they made more money this year and that was correct the reason they made how much more did they make if we take away 660 gives us 14 pounds 15 pence so they made 14 pounds 15 pence more this year Use approximation to check one of your answers. So one of the answers. What we can do is round this to 100 and this to 7 pounds. So 7 times 100 gives us 700. So that shows that this number we had here, £674.15, pence, was pretty close to it. What is £385.25 pence rounded to the nearest pound? So that's the pounds column. So this will be the cutoff point. Looking on the right, that's 25 pence, so below 50 pence. That's why we're going to round this to 385 pounds. The farmer decides to rent the field. It needs a new fence all the way around the edge. He measures the sides of the field. So we've got 130 meters, 65 meters. What length of fencing will he need? So, going around, we'll go 135 and then 65, 135 and 65. 
So adding all of these together. gives us 400 meters. Why fencing is sold in 50 meter rolls? What number of rolls will the farmer need to buy? So overall he needs 400 meters. So if we 400 divided by 50 it will give us the number of rolls. That's eight. So eight rolls are needed. Each roll of fencing costs thirty-nine pounds seventy-seven pence. The farmer asks his assistant to estimate the total cost of the fencing. So we're not going to write the exact figure. The assistant uses approximation to find out what is the approximate cost. Of the fencing. So 39 pounds 77 pence. Let's round it to the nearest whole pound. So that's the pounds column. This will be the cutoff point. Looking on the right, we have 77, which is above 50 pence. So we're going to round up. So that 9, we add 1 to it, so it becomes 10. So 0 down and 1 carried over, 3 and 1 is 4. So that's £40. Pounds. So this is about £40. Pounds. And we're looking at 8 rolls. So 8 times 40 is 320. So £320 pounds is the approximate cost. Complete the table to show the rounded amounts. Got day of the week from Monday to Saturday, amount of money taken, amount rounded to the nearest pound. So one has been done already for us. Fifty-seven pounds sixty-seven pence has been rounded to fifty-eight pounds. Now we've got for Tuesday eighty-five pounds eleven pence. So that's the pounds column. Cutoff point is here, the decimal point. Looking on the right, we've got 11 pence, so that's below 50. So we're going to keep this as 85 pounds. Looking at the next one, again, that's a cutoff point. Looking on the right, that's 50 pence. So 50 and above, we round up. So this will become 54 pounds. Again, we're looking here, we've got 19 pence, so that's below 50. So we're going to keep this as 84 pounds. Looking at this one, we've got 94 pence, so that's above 50. We're going to round this to 109 pounds. Final one, we've got 60. Again, that's above 50. So we're going to round this to 97 pounds. And this is the end of the questions.